This is Typical Gamer, one of the biggest gaming YouTubers in the world. But this influential gaming YouTuber wasn't always the global sensation he is today. Let's take a trip to the past to see where Typical Gamer's love for gaming all began. Typical Gamer, or Andre Rabello, was born on March 23rd, 1992 in Ontario, Canada. As a kid, Andre's fascination with gaming quickly became more than just an interest. Starting with classics like Super Mario and Sonic the Hedgehog, his passion for gaming was so intense that his mom even had to feed him while he played. Starting in 2010, Typical Gamer would start off his streaming career on a site named Justin.tv. He streamed alongside his brother known as Typical Reviews, working together to build their audience and establish their presence in the gaming community. Typical Gamer got his inspiration to start going live from another streamer named Swifter. Swifter was known mainly for his Call of Duty content as well as his Swifter Says videos. Starting off his career, Andre would stream games such as Zombies and GTA 4. As he's beginning to grow a small following, averaging 10 to 15 viewers, one unexpected day he experiences a surge and attracts a total of 17,000 viewers in a single stream. Typical Gamer then started his new streams with the game Red Dead Redemption. Driving for more, on May 24th, 2010, he posts his very first YouTube video. These videos, consisting of stream highlights, would pull a staggering amount of views. While still being in college, Andre struggled to find a balance of gaming and school. So, he dropped out. With this risky decision, it opened a whole new opportunity for growth. Being able to continue his drive for gaming without the stress of school unlocked his full potential. He then continued to post tons of Call of Duty Ghosts until July 29th, 2013, when he discovered a game by the name of GTA 5. From this point, he would post daily and turn his YouTube from just a side hustle to a full-time career posting every day and averaging millions of views on each video, some even managing to surpass 10 million views. With all of this success in the videos, in March of 2015, Typical Gamer would hit 1 million subscribers. This achievement was not only a significant personal accomplishment, but also a reflection of his growing influence on the gaming community. And this was just the beginning. As his career soared to new heights, life outside the gaming world would also evolve. Andre would meet a girl by the name of Samara. They would meet at the 2015 PAX event where they would begin dating and even move in together. What is going on down here? I came to get some food for myself and I just... What is this? You and the boy. You and the boy? What are you... Ooh, Andre's getting some ramen. Okay, so this is when we would usually order like burgers or something, but... Oh, that's a daily thing. But we got some... I got some ramen at the grocery store. Life was at an all-time high for Andre, gaining millions of subscribers and meeting the love of his life. But then, Andre would take a break from games and start to post IRL content with his new girlfriend. And then, on January 3rd, 2018, Typical Gamer would post his first ever Fortnite video. We got a new silence pistol. Pairs perfectly with the bush. Your enemies won't see or hear you approach. And then apparently they're also going to be adding a cozy campfire. Um, cozy up. He would still post other games such as God is War and Red Dead Redemption, but not for long as Typical Gamer was invited to the Fortnite Fall Skirmish. The tournament was one of the biggest in Fortnite history. A total prize pool of $10 million. He ended up getting first place, winning a staggering $65,000. This new competitive side of Fortnite had Typical Gamer hooked. You got hooked. Connorio, you have Scissors, Typical Gamer, Myth, Kinstar, Gotaga, Svenos, all these players left alive. Svenos, that that's, what I'm, that's what I'm calling him now. There you go. Here's the final moment from that game from Typical Gamer's POV. Picks off Myth. Find Spenos low. Spenos basically was at 12 HP, gets a W, and typical gamer. I mean, really, the three players that you see here are so exquisite. He would Fortnite. be so obsessed with Fortnite so that he would even make a whole new channel just based around Fortnite. And it was called TG Plays. Even though with this initial switch of games, he actually lost some viewership. But he didn't care and he kept on grinding. And soon enough, the grind paid off. Soon after, an event known as the Black Hole in Fortnite would get Typical Gamer to surpass 500,000 viewers in one stream. I'm here. Oh, right above us. Oh! Dear God. I was hearing noises. Oh my goodness. Um, please don't the rip. close the world. Release. Oh no, oh no, oh! Oh! oh. oh. oh yikes. Oh, yikes. Oh, this, oh, no. this was one of the most viewed streams of all time. 
Not to mention, short after, we would enter the COVID-19 pandemic, forcing millions of players to stay at home. The pandemic gave everyone an excuse to game with their friends for 12 hours a day, not worry about school, work, or their social lives. So typical gamer would take advantage of that. And shortly after, he would post a video titled, I have a big announcement. In the video, he decides to surprise one of his fans who is diagnosed with a heart defect. And for today is to go surprise one of my fans. I'm super stoked to be giving back. Oh, no, typical gamer. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, someone told me you watched my video, so I thought I'd come back. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, yeah. Coleman Thank has you. been a fan of yours since he came home from Children's Hospital Los Angeles. Meeting Coleman, the fact that he watched my videos. As well, in the video, it truly shows how great of a person he is. Even donating $10,000 to Extra Life. And in the end of the video, he announces that he is officially streaming exclusively on YouTube. Start, and I'm not going anywhere. I'll be streaming exclusively on YouTube Gaming. I'll see you guys on the next stream. This adds a whole new level of consistency, being able to focus all of his energy into one project. And soon enough, on August 27th, 2020, Typical Gamer hits 10 million subscribers. This is, I did not expect this today. I did not expect this today. And I want to share it with you guys because you're the people who I want to share with for sure. Okay? So. Today, I got something special. Pop this open. You guys ready? Da -da 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 -ba -ba. This is an achievement that less than 1% of all YouTubers get. He would continue to post these Fortnite videos, playing with some of the biggest creators such as Ninja, CypherPK, and NickA30, even getting invited to more tournaments, such as the Dr. Disrespect Hotshot Duo Drop, where he would play second. So I got invited to a tournament hosted by Dr. Disrespect and Mountain Dew Gaming. $25,000 on the line, and four competitors. You got me, Chica, Z Laner, and Dr. Disrespect. I think we can go ahead and say that Typical Gamer is our champion. Now, more than ever, all eyes are on him. He would then quit competitive Fortnite just to make content. He would then post his most popular video to this day, playing as a superhero in a villain-only tournament. In this video, he would grief his girlfriend's customs live on stream. Today, I try sneaking into my girlfriend's custom games while she was live streaming. I swear. <laughs> water there for a second. Oh, no, we're- Yes! We saved the world of Fortnite! No more villains, baby! Are we done? What do you gotta say about that? What I do you gotta say about that? That's pretty impressive, I keep winning. Yeah, this I video got a staggering 26 million views, and this isn't even on his main channel. With the great success of that video, he would continue to post videos of her, whether it be him pranking his girlfriend or him griefing her custom. And they would continue to get tens of millions of views. With both channels doing amazing and recently getting engaged to his soon-to-be wife, he is at an all-time high. And it seems that Typical Gamer is living his best life. Well, Honor and I have been together for almost nine years. He's recording a video right now, that's why he's not here. We'll, we'll get him at the end of this. We got engaged. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that one. We did. Andre proposed in Hawaii. It was very cute. I'll include some photos and I don't know.